What is good, peasants? My name is JB, and I am back here today with my week one team builder and battle for the NCP. This week, we are taking on the homie Matt O'Shea. And if you don't know who he is, I definitely suggest you go check him out. He is a very nice dude and makes some of the better content on the YouTubes, in my personal opinion. If you like more like analytical stuff like that, you're not here for memes, you're here for people who are actually good at Pokemon. Definitely go watch Matt. He's a very good player. But if you're here for memes and you're here for, you know, misplays and embarrassing yourself then you're you found the right place you found the right channel uh but anyways go ahead and go over mr o'shea's squad you can see over here he has the Nikoma o clefable crawdon vikavolt uh palaswine the blade roselia zatu rapidash and snorlax so let me go ahead and tell you all the things i don't have any stuff for all the stuff i don't have any things for i guess both work all the things i don't have any things for all the stuff i don't have stuff for i guess i guess all four work anyway uh crawdon no things no stuff um call mine clef no things no stuff uh curse lax no things no stuff although curse lax kind of a little bit more uh kind of something some stuff for curse lax uh and then como as something some stuff but like crawdon and clef no things no stuff the rest of the team is just sort of there uh como can be very annoying if it wants to like set up or it can be a very very vocal pokemon very hard to take down it can run like uh you know stealth rocks and stuff like that or it could just run like dragon dance and stuff like that. It can't run Klinger's soul, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> uh Vikavolt, very also annoying Pokemon, could run an agility like life orb set if he wants to, or he could just run like a bulky uh sticky webs lead option, some something along the lines of like a focus sash with dual stab and like energy ball or something to catch like toad. I can see coming Palaswine. Um also very, very bulky. I had to play two Palaswines today, fun fact. Um <laughs> The Palace Wine is pretty damn thick as well. It can uh, set up rocks. It uh, has priority ice shards, can um, earthquake stuff. It's got thick fat. It's really, really bulky. Uh, the Blade, same sort of deal. Um, doesn't really get rocks, though, but it also has uh, priority. It's also an EV line mod. It can, you know, set up with uh, Swords Dance. Very, very bulky uh, on the physical side, less so on the special side, but it can, you know, make up for that by, you know, running Spinoff. Uh, Roselia, another EV line mod. He just like, yo, all these NFE things, I'm going to just take all of them. Uh, Roselia has two spikes and spikes. That's about it. Uh, it, it doesn't have nearly as good a special attack as Ros Roserade. I think it's actually decent. I think it's like 90 or something along those lines. So it can kick, hit kind of hard, but it's mainly just going to be there if he thinks he wants to bring, uh, spikes or T-spikes versus me. Uh, Zatu, magic bounce decently fast. Um, can call mine, can like U-turn, can, I don't know, just be really annoying. Uh, very, very annoying Pokemon to deal with. He has a horse, so respect. Uh, he has a fire horse. It has a decent move pool, decent speed stat. It has sword sense now, which is dope. Uh, don't really see it coming though. And then I already talked about Snorlax. It can curse, and, and curse Lax is no fun to play ever. So, yeah, uh, hopefully we can find some things and some stuff to be his things and stuff. That's, uh, you know, I just described Pokemon in a nutshell with that one sentence. You know what? I'm like, I'm kind of really good at this. <laughs> sarcasm very heavily intended so let's go ahead and go over the squadron first off we have heliolisk with a life orb we have thunderbolt surf hyper voice and you turn so the speed on this boy is for rapidash the surf to it kills max hp palace we need the life orb for that so that's why we're on life orb instead of extra but extra belt doesn't guarantee to a ko life orb does uh t-bolt is very spammable though i guess his team once palace one is gone so this could be a decent uh late game win con or just you know solid breaker mid game or something along those lines just you know i'm here to click buttons and then we have u-turn over volt switch because he has like palace one as a free switch if we want to get momentum and uh he's predicting i don't know man like i would probably just click surf if i was predicting palace one to come in or if i needed to switch for whatever reason i could uh you turn out next up we got uh cinderace we're just we're just slapping the choice band on man and we're just clicking buttons we have power ball sin head by low kick and u-turn uh, we have speed for Zatu. We cannot speed a uh, horse and still be adamant. And I really want to be adamant this game because uh, banded adamant pyro ball kind of just does a lot of damage. Um, <clears throat> and also, he has to be bold max max clef to not get to it KO'd by adamant uh, choice banded pyro ball, which is another reason I wanted to be adamant. Probably could have been a little bit less attack, but might as well do more to everything. It is in headbutt for combo, which is obviously to it KO'd no matter the set. We have low kick for Snorlax and then U turn for momentum. Pretty self explanatory. Next up, we got ourselves a Terrakion with a Chopper Bear. We have Close Combat, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Swords Dance. Uh, the speed on this boy is for a Rapidash, and it lives an Adamant Aqua Jet from Crawdon after Rocks with a decent amount of bulk and HP we have. We have 68 HP, 116 defense. Uh, so we're able to live, like I said, the Bandit Adamant, not, um, Bandit Adamant Aqua Jet from Crawdon. Otherwise, we have Speed in and Kill Close Combat. Uh, we can Sword Sense on Como um, at any point if we're able to get a Sword Sense up versus that month because of the Chopper Bear. So say, like, Crawdon's gone. 
and uh, he, he doesn't click Aqua Jet for whatever reason, and we're just able to kill Crawdon. Uh, we can SD in front of Como at whatever point after that, and we can kind of just go in. And yeah, it was uh, nice and solid, uh, just button clicker once again. That's kind of kind of what we're going for with these first three months. And next up, we got we got some defense on this team though. Don't worry, we're bringing Sazmonto with some lessons. We got Scald, Earth Power, Knock Off, and Stealth Rock. Uh, the special attack, uh, the 44 special attack, is so Earth Power always breaks max HP Como -O substitutes. Uh, the defense is so uh, Banded Adamant Knock Off never kills after rocks. Uh, Como or uh, Crawdon is just such a monster, dude. Like I have I have nothing. I have literally nothing. Or it's it's so sad uh, and then uninvested freeze dry pile of swine is always a 2 hit kill unless you go max finef which i can't and still hope to check card on it so i can at least get like a knockoff on it if it's banded or fish for a scald burn uh at, at worst case scenario so that's kind of what we have we do have two water absorb mons but uh they both take a metric fuck ton from knockoff like helios could straight up die seismitoad uh dies to two so yeah, there's, there's really not a whole hell of a lot i can do versus card i kind of just have to revenge it or catch it uh catch matt like on a prediction like be, me being me making a dumb play and him not predicting that is gonna be a, like that's how i'm gonna have to be crowd on this game <laughs> otherwise it just kills everything even this pokemon uh we have avalug here with heavy duty boots we have avalanche body press earthquake and rapid spin we are running a shit ton of fist stuff because even then uh we can live two bandy crab hammers uh from the crowd on so we have to be this much fist stuff on a Pokemon with 184 defense and 95 HP to live to. Yeah. Uh, we do Oko back with body press though, but I, I'm, I'm having to build so heavily around this Pokemon that like the rest of my team just isn't going to be able to like break his, I don't think, but we'll, we'll try to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be very, very difficult to just deal with his team in general. So like, you know what, if I can just give myself a ton of ways to deal with Crawdon, I think I can hopefully deal with the rest. That's kind of the game plan. It's just I auto lose a Pokemon to card on, so I, I kind of come up with some ways around that. And then last but certainly not least, we have a Braviary with a Choice Scarf. Uh, I forgot to change his ability, so we I guess we're playing with Keen Eye because I already uh, have this team ginned into the game. So, fuck. Uh, but anyway, we have Brave Bird, Close Combat, uh, Shadow Claw, and U-Turn. The speed allows us to outspeed. Oh god, what 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 do we outspeed there, boys? Well, uh, fun fact: this was originally um haunter but uh the auto trader thingy uh can't hold it you, like you can't showdown doesn't recognize everstone as an item so i don't think you can give it an everstone and then it it, it just evolves it whenever it was traded to me by the uh the, the, the tradey bot uh so i don't think i'm gonna be able to keep haunter on this team unless i want to breed up a bunch of haunters which i fucking don't so probably gonna have to drop that one uh what was that speed for um yeah, okay, it was uh, 118 speed, which is for uh, Adamant Crawdon, or Jolly Crawdon, if he wants to be, like, Dragon Dance for whatever reason. So that, that was, like, the only thing I could really uh, outspeed. So, yeah, that's what we got. And we're just here to click buttons. We have Shadow Claw for Deblade, uh, U-Turn for Pivoting. And, yeah, just, like, I think um, Haunter would have been a much better option for this game, but I, I, I was playing the game in five minutes, and I needed to just go ahead and get a Pokemon, so I just made it Braviary instead. I was originally going to put Braviary, then I decided Haunter was better, and then Haunter was better, but then I couldn't get a Haunter. So, fuck. <laughs> Basically. But yeah, that's going to do it for the team builder, and I'll see you guys inside the battle right about meow. Okie dokie, boys. We're back here with the battle for week one of NCP, taking on the one and only Matt O'Shea. Great guy. Go check him out. Uh, and he brought the team of Coma O, uh, Crawdons, Pillow Swine. Uh, where is my mouse? Pillow Swine. The blade, Clefable, and Vikavolt. So no stone likes, no rapid dash, no Zatu, no Rosalia. Nice. Alright, um, in terms of leads, I, okay, first off, in this game, I absolutely love Terrakion. I absolutely love, um, Cinderace here. I, I love Cinderace so much, we're gonna lead Choice Band in Cinderace, and we're just gonna click something, because he brought nothing that outspeeds it. Um, and we are just gonna have a filled day with this, so... Definitely be sure to go check out Matt. Like I said, he's one of the one of the nicest dudes. Just he, he's a great he's a great guy. Definitely go check Matt out. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know who he is, but if you don't, go check him out. He's a great guy. Um, great battler as well. If you like more analytical like content, definitely, uh, definitely uh, one of the better channels out there. Well, let's do this, boys. Let's do this. Um, NCP. Shout out to John Jr. Shout out to everyone else. Shout out to the shoutouts. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm talking, man. So he ends up leading off with Vikavolt. And 
Honestly, I don't see what I'd lose from just clicking fucking Powerball twice, except for the fact that he does have a Como on his team. Which, if you don't know, Bulletproof does block. Um, Powerball, so I will just U-turn out. Also, I do expect this just to be a uh, Sash lead sort of set with webs. And that does a really, really, really solid chunk. So uh, let's just go ahead and bring out probably our... I mean, we probably could just go hard Avalog. I think that's kind of a mistake, though, because it's one of the few things on our team that can eat a hit from combo. Let me see if Braviary can kill a Vika Volt. Because um, if it can, that might be the play. Uh, so yeah, we'll just say a, a max HP Vika Volt. Eh, it'll be a roll, but it's a roll I'm a little willing to risk, probably. Yeah, cause he's gonna have grass cup. I mean, we'll, we'll go Sasma Toad, we'll go Sasma Toad, that's, that's smarter. <laughs> There's not really a lot of great switches to this Pokemon on my team, so you kind of just have to pick one. And if you, okay, so he just went for Volt Switch. That's great, I kind of expected him to go for webs there. But the fact that he didn't uh, leads me to believe he may not have them, or he just did not want to go for them here. Uh, I'm gonna get Energy Ball in the mouth. There's not a whole hell of a lot I can do to stop it. So let me see how much it does. Oh, if I could not drop my controller, that would be great. Um, I wonder if it, just, if it just straight up kills. It, it absolutely just straight up kills. So I'm gonna pull a very, very, very risky double. And I think I'm just gonna bring Cinderace back out. Because it does like a solid 20% to Cinderace. Um, worst he does here is like Bug Buzz. But uh, I think getting Cinderace back in is fine because I can just click uh, Banded Pyro Ball or U-Turn again. As he just goes for Energy Ball. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. It's going to do about 25%. Yeah, that, that did quite a bit of damage. That was a crit even. Okay. That's why. Find me down to 115. No. 115. My... 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 Okay. Uh, whatever. Uh, the calc is broken. Again. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna go for Zen Headbutt here. Uh, it does a decent trip to this, and if he wants to make the Como play predicting Pyro Ball, which it looks like he did, perfect, we got him. Awesome, so we get a choice Bandit Zen Headbutt off on this Pokemon. Hell yeah, dude. And that's a clean to a KO. Let's go, that's a hell of a prediction. That puts us in a fantastic spot. His Dark type is Cronaut, so he could go into that if he wants to save this. Uh, which, knowing Matt, he probably would. Um, so I could bring in Braviary here, although that seems like a bit of an unnecessary play when I could just go back into Sasmatoad. So we get a huge, huge prediction there. That puts us in a great place going forward. Um, so we'll just bring in Sasmatoad on, uh, his double, which ends up being into the Viking Volt. Okay, good play. Get the Volt back in. I'm just gonna go for... I think I'm just going to fire off a Scald here. Uh, might as well. Just see what he wants to go for. If he goes for uh, Energy Ball again or if he decides to make a prediction. He just goes for his webs. Okay, that's fine. Um, obviously, I know he's going to have the Energy Ball. I think I'm just going to get my Rocks up here. Uh, I don't have a switch into this Pokemon. And I don't want to make the same Cinderace play again. So I'm not going to make the same Cinderace play again. What I'm probably going to do is just sack this and go into Avalog and Rapid Spin. That also seems like kind of a mistake though, but I could also just go Braviary and click Bravebird. And be totally content versus his team because his only switch into that is the Blade. As he goes for Roost. Okay, I did not really expect to see that. That's kind of obnoxious. Um, I can knock this thing's item off though, so if it's Boots, it can't come in for free anymore. Uh, ah, I just misclicked. Fuck. Oh well. God damn it. I just... I'm, I fucked up. Yeah, that, that's, like, I've pressed up on the controller, and, like, the controller inputted as down for some reason, so I guess I flicked the stick the wrong way. That's my own fault. I, I messed up. Ugh, so Sasmatoad is gonna die. And Vankavolt is gonna pick up a kill. That's super annoying. Uh, so we can probably just bring in Cinderace, I would say. Actually, no, let's just, let's just bring in the Beast of Dysterachion. Let's not mess around. Because, let's see. I don't think even at minus one there's any way uh, Vikavolt is outspeeding me. Maybe if he's timid, it looks like he might be able to. No, he doesn't. Okay. So I can just go for Stone Edge. And if he ends up being um, Charty Berry, then so be it. This is another pretty free click versus this team. 
Um, he has the blade, but that doesn't want to take an earthquake after. Granted, I don't want to stay in on the blade, but his jar balls are going to be doing less with webs up. And we... I'm sorry, what? Why did that do nothing? Why did that actually do no damage? I mean, I know I don't have a ton of attack, but that should have done way more than it did. Uh, close combat should kill. So I don't have to risk other thing missing. That's 19% min. I'm hoping this picks up the kill. It did, thankfully. That would have been really bad if it didn't. <clears throat> that crit might have mattered. Uh, depends on his exact number of HP. It did 19 to 23, and he was, you know, he was in red, so he was under 25%. So it, it was probably a very, you know, good chance in my favor to kill, even if he, you know, was. Whatever. I think the most he could have been at was like 20. 30%. So at worst case, I get a max roll there. Um, aside from the crit. But yeah, I, I just didn't want to risk the CC. Which, you know, you guys probably understand. It's fucking... Or Stone Edge. You know, you guys get it. It's Stone Edge. Who wants to risk a Stone Edge? <laughs> Okay. So we're down. No, we're still we're, we're tied right now. It's one to one, or it's five to five. Uh, probably the blade here. If I had to guess, the blade or cleft. Because cleft, I'm just gonna get uh stone edge damage off on it. Because the blade, I'm probably also just gonna get earthquake damage off on it. Um, depends on if I die to a shadow sneak or not. The blade. And Adam in the blade, Shadow Sneak does. This pillow slime, okay. Actually, I could also die to this. Um, I shard does. Okay, I'm at 67%. I shard doesn't kill me at minus one. Oh, wait, no, that's, um, that's the blade. I'm stupid. Okay, let me. I shard does not kill me at minus one. Okay, so I can just get CC damage off here. Which should do a decent chunk. Edorox, it might have a chance to kill. Nah, it doesn't, obviously, but... I said might. <laughs> I said might. So yeah, he's just gonna get his rocks up. Okay, 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 okay. Which is fine, because he's gonna be able to, uh... I shard me here and kill me. At minus two, is there any way it doesn't kill? That'd be hilarious. Actually, yeah, he could get a low roll and not kill me. It's like, it's a mid roll for I try to kill here. Uh, add him a max attack, and based on how well he took that close combat, I don't think he can be, so. Yeah, there's a decent chance I live this I shard. And I do, hell yeah. Good job, Track. <clears throat> Good heckin' job, Track. Dealing with two very annoying Pokemon. We take those. Like I said, we were running a very, very bulky track. on set, one, uh, 16, 116 defense, 68 HP. Yeah, we ran, we ran a very bulky set. Um, you guys will know what that did in the team builder, but I don't currently remember. <laughs> the exact, uh, the necessar necessities of that spread. Intricacies is the word I'm looking for. Uh, but I know that it was meant to be able to sort sense up on Como oh, late game. But that is no longer the case because obviously we are no longer in a situation where that is possible. Um, brings out the Clef. Clef can't outspeed me. So we just get Stone Edge Shift. Uh, or we do the same thing. Okay, I, got, I, got, I, I, I gotta quit fucking doing that, man. I gotta quit fucking doing that. I mean, I guess it's guaranteed chip. And like, that's a solid 20% on a fucking Clefable, but I gotta stop doing that shit. The fucking, the fucking Calc, man. Or the fucking um, controller. That's a fucking cosmic power. No, you did not, Matthew. What the hell? Man, friends don't bring cosmic power cleft versus friends. What the shit? <laughs> nah, it's fine. Um, I could SD up just for lols. But I'm just going to go for a stone edge crit because that's funnier. Because I think just getting as much damage off on this thing as I can would be better. As I managed to land, which is lit. He just goes for another one. Oh, please, please, yo, you're, you're playing with fire, my dude. Granted, so I'm about clicking Stone Edge, so one of us is not going to like the outcome of this. I can tell you that right now, bro. 
I can tell you that right now. I don't have any way to stop this, so I kind of just have to let it fucking set up in front of me, uh, which is terrifying. So I'm just going to click Stone Edge again. And listen, man, we're both playing with fire. I'm, I'm either going to miss or I'm going to crit. That's what's going to happen right now. Or I'm just going to land and it's going to do nothing. Uh, but hey, hey, I hit again. Three for three. Didn't get the crit, unfortunately. It was just soft boiled. Bro, you're just, you're, you're, you're not nice. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Can you not, please? I really don't like it. Um, good news is, is this buys me a rapid spin. Bad news is, uh, there's still a cleft sitting in front of me. <laughs> that is plus two, plus two. I think he probably kills me here. We landed, we've landed every stone edge, so shout out to Terrakion for being a real MVP. This continues going for cosmic power. I, I can't stop it. Like, even if I were to switch out, there's nothing I can do to, like, stop this from setting up. So, I'm, listen, I probably lose to this Clefable, so... Uh, it is what it is. I just have to hope for the Stone Edge crit. That's all I can do. <laughs> I, I can't stop this thing from setting up at all. There's nothing I can do to stop it. So, Terrakion, 5 for 5. Can we get the high crit chance, please? Click Soft Boil on again. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I just lose to this. Like, my team was very weak to Clef. Um, and Haunter wouldn't have helped here. Bisharp obviously wouldn't have helped versus like the rest of his team. Bisharp had a horrible matchup versus the rest of his team. So, you know. Hey man, we don't miss. There it is! <laughs> we got it, boys! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yo. <laughs> I feel so bad. I really don't because it's a cosmic power clef. Like, listen, dude. I feel bad, but at the same time, I don't even a little bit. Uh, because it's only one crit. If we get this one too, if we hit seven stone edges in a row. Can we get two in a row? Nah, we don't get two in a row, but he's gonna soft it here, obviously. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I can't I can't stop this one. Like he's he's yeah, he's he's got his plus six. Uh so yeah, even a crit knocks it down to half, so I, I'm pretty sure this is just GG. There's there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do to stop this Pokemon. Ah, Man, that's rough. That's really rough. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I apologize to you guys for, you know, getting swept week one. But again, like, dude, there's just nothing you can do versus Clef. Sometimes there's cosmic power. Again, and uh, yeah, he's plus six, plus six. There's nothing I can do. That was my last stone edge as well, so. I should probably just click X. Like, if, you know, <laughs> if I could click X, I would. I would click X on, like, life, but... That's a joke. Don't take that seriously, please. I'm fine. It was a meme. Um, but yeah, there's absolutely nothing I can do. So we're just gonna let whatever happens happen. I.e. the rest of my team dying. But Terrakion did a good job. He got two kills. So at least we got some differential out of it, bro. I I don't I don't have I don't have attacks left. So just just win. Just just just, just attack me, friend. I I can't do anything. That was my last Stone Edge. I I cannot do anything versus you, my guy. Um. We'll just click Earthquake, maybe we get, maybe he's, maybe he's, you know, unaware of his own boosts and gets crit or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, there's the Moonblast. Okay, yeah, that's, that's probably this game. I'm pretty sure Clefable just picks up the, picks up all five kills here. Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Um, I mean, listen, man. The table can live, too. We're going to go into the table. We're going to do some table things. <laughs> I want to see something, though. If Clef, you know, is doing his, is doing his Clef shit. If I click Rapid Spin with Avalug. I do outspeed. No, I don't. That's funny. Okay, well, then there's no point. I wanted, I don't know, I just I just wanted to see if I could outspeed. Not that it matters, I just wanted to find out for, you know, for my own sake. So yeah, we're just gonna go for a good old... Uh, oh, that did nothing, yo. Shout out Avalon. Yo, get all that, get, yo, take that Avalon, Avalanche chip, nerd. <laughs> I'm just gonna trash talk this Clefable, like, it's incompetent, man. This, this Clefable, this Clefable, Probably has has two left feet, man. He can't dance. Like this Clefable can't two step. <laughs> this Clefable can't line dance. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh man. <laughs> yeah, there's there's literally I literally can't do anything, man. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's let's get let's get ourselves a powerball thumb now. How about that? Let's let's get ourselves a powerball thumb now. You guys cool with that? I'm cool with that. Let's, let's, let's get a powerball thumb. Powerball thummy. <laughs> No, webs, why? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yo, if, if, I swear to God, if I hit seven stone energy, then this powerball and don't even get my fucking powerball thumbnail, dude, I will be. I'll, I'll drop Cinder straight up. I'll drop it. I'll drop this motherfucker. I won't, but like, listen, if I miss, or if I hit seven stone energy and I miss powerball, all right, we're good. You're, you're safe, Cinder You're safe, buddy. Ugh. Oh, that still did some shit, bro. I could have made a play on this thing, but listen, like, what was Terrakion doing the rest of the game? I, I could have tried to play around that, considering that did that much damage, but I, I don't think there was really any... I, I, I think I made the best play I could have made, because, I mean, there, there was nothing to stop this. Like, he could have just brought this in versus, like, uh, Heliolisk or something. I don't know, dude. Based on how much Powerball was doing, I think I probably could have tried to bring this in earlier. And that's my own fault, but whatever, it, it happened. Oh, we get we get a blaze boosted one. Let's see how much this one does. Yo, if we crit the blaze boosted one, we might have a chance at two KOing this thing. <laughs> at two KOing it. <laughs> Actually, we two KO this. We'll see. That did so much damage. <laughs> that did so much damage. But yeah, Clef is Clef is gross, man. Nobody. This, this is why no one likes the Fable. This is why. This is why no one likes it. It's just, it is, no one likes this Pokemon, and, and this is why no one likes it. Whatever. Let's get my favorite Pokemon out here. Braviary is such a beautiful mon. I love it. It's so cool. Hopefully the Brave Bird animation looks sick, so I can get a cool thumbnail out of that. Maybe. <laughs> Listen, man. We're just we're just going for clickbait thumbnails at this point, boy. That's all we're going for. <laughs> Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Get him. You're so brave. <laughs> You're so brave. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, how much I want to bet this Clefable sat by himself at lunch in high school. <laughs> this Clefable was the, was the type of, was the type of dude who in class, like when you had a substitute teacher, and the class is like, yo, our teacher always lets us leave early for lunch. The Clef the Clefable is like the one who said, no, no, she doesn't. That that that, that was this Clefable. <laughs> this Clefable a narc. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Listen, man, if nothing else, you guys got some content out of this. Okay, you guys have got some content. <laughs> oh man, this is funny. Like I'm actually I'm actually kind of enjoying it, so. Whatever, I, I can't be too upset. Clef did clef things. Clef, Clef's gonna clef. <laughs> Clef's gonna clef. Let me just go ahead and mark down the stats so neither one of us have to worry about that. Braviary does not die again. Like, Bra Braviary kind of thick. Braviary kind of thick. Oh, did I die to myself? I did die to myself. <laughs> Yo, suck, you only get four KOs. Nice, too. Brave bird recoil in front of Clef. <laughs> Four slash five. <laughs> oh man, that's funny though. But yo, if I yo listen, Clef only gets four KOs. I'm 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 cool with it. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Oh wow, I'm 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 just I'm sad. I'm not happy, but <laughs> I understand. Like you got to do what you got to do. It, it, it's it's cool. It, it's it's understandable. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> and there's the moon blast. Um, yeah, dude. Like moon blast, more like. More like, more like, more like, more like, I got nothing, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. That's why I was stalling, that's why I said more like seven times in a row. 
whatever, dude, whatever. I'm not even mad about it. Like, I'm, I'm meant to, I'm meant to get swept. That's, yeah, I'm meant, I'm meant to. That, that was the game plan going in all along. It was to get in his head for our playoffs rematch. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. Word to your mother. But no, that was a fun game for what it was. Uh, go check out Matt. He's a good dude, despite bringing uh, Cosmic Power Clef like a, like a butt. But yeah, go check him out, dude. Uh, he's a great content creator. And uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all for the next one. Peace out.